Okay, your macrame tutorials start now. This is lesson one. Lesson one is understanding basic supplies and one not. Okay, so this is a macrame project I just started and I don't have all the cords on yet, uh, but I will. And so you need macrame cord and more than you think. So um, I feel like over time you'll understand like how many yards you need, but right at the beginning, you're just gonna have to buy a couple things of macrame cord and um, kind of keep track over time of how much you use and how much you're wasting and stuff. Um, but there are calculations you can do. Anyway, so um, there are different like thicknesses of cord. This is, this is a three millimeter. Um, so it's thicker than yarn, um, but it's not super duper thick. A lot of things that are sold are made at three or four millimeter. If you have like five or six, you're going to get the project done more quickly, but it's, I don't think it necessarily looks as intricate. Okay. So for instance, this, uh, plant hanger I made, which I put on grow getters. It's a giveaway is three millimeter. And I feel like you get a lot more intricacy with this. It's tight um, and it's gonna stay together better over time. Okay, so you have your cord. You can find that on Amazon. Um, natural is better. You wanna get cotton if possible and um, colors or whatever you want it to be. But I would suggest that if you wanna get like a natural look, then get like two skeins of the same one because I have bought three millimeter natural color and they look completely different on. One will look more white, one will look more like wheat, like this one. You can't tell unless I'm, well, I guess these two look really different. That looks white, that looks more wheat colored and they both say the same thing on the internet. So I, I mean, maybe you like the look of mixing them, but I personally don't. Um, you need, your cord, you need a rod of some kind. So obviously I have a branch here. That's fine from outside. I just found that and let it dry out. Um, or dowel rods are good. Curtain rod, figure something out that's like a rod. And um, for the most part, that's it. It's just very few supplies and your time and effort. So it's very relaxing too. Okay, so Obviously, if you need to attach it, you need some sort of knot to start with. So right here, you'll see I have attached them all along this branch. The most common knot in all of macrame is the lark's head knot. That is your way to attach things. Okay, so you take your cord and you fold it in half. Now, how much cord you have depends on your project. If you look at this, look at that pool on the floor, that's because I want this to at least be 40 some inches long. So I had to do seven yards. Okay, so that's 21 feet. 21 feet each cord is 21 feet, but then you fold it in half, okay? All right, so you fold it in half and you have your loop the loop goes over top of i'm trying to get this oh here i'll do it here the loop goes over top of your rod okay so that's it i just didn't do anything special i just threw it over the top of the rod just make sure it's not twisted okay and then i have it here in the back and then in the front i just grab the cord and I pull it through. Okay. Sorry, this one's in the way, kind of distracting you. Okay. And then it's latched on like that. Okay. This is something else, but this is the Lark's head knot. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. Loop over top. You can kind of just grab it from the back here. You know, those strings hanging down in front, you just grab them, pull it through, and then tighten it up, make sure they're not twisted, 
Okay, and then part of the beauty of the pieces too are having them equally spaced from each other or not. So if I have a regular rod, I try to space them very equally. If I have something where I'm purposefully doing something very natural and earthy, like this, I wanted a stick that had all these things jutting out everywhere that I'd have to work around, that's how I do it then. So, I mean, it really does depend on your project, but the nice thing is, look, I have tape and it's hanging up by some more macrame cord. I have, you know, very few supplies. You can make a really sophisticated setup, but you don't need to. So anyways, all right, that's your intro and that was your Lark's Head Knot. Have a good day.